All right, well, here it is. We got about 25 minutes left. For those of you that don't know, I am going to be going to Town Hall 10. And there you see it in about half an hour. And I'm pretty much as ready as I'm going to be. As far as loot-wise, I'm completely maxed. I mean, even my... I mean, even my pumps, I got my, my, my treasuries completely maxed out. Uh, you know, my gold mines, pumps, everything. I've been maxed Town Hall 9, uh, you know, 70k weight for about a month. And for those of you wondering why I'm deciding to take my main account to Town Hall 10 versus staying Town Hall 9 forever, you know, we do see a slight shift in, you know, Town Hall 9 and what's happened to Town Hall 9 between the different buffs from the loon, you know, from the loon buff to the, you know, the giant bomb nerf, you know, just things just like the simple as, you know, the poison spell being bigger, the, you know, bowlers, which never used to exist. So it's definitely, it's not that Town Hall 9 is easy, but it's definitely easier than what it used to be. And, you know, I do like that challenge. I do want to accept that Town Hall 10 challenge. And not to mention, I do like progressing through the game. You know, I had, obviously, I've had this account from the very beginning. I've always farmed it. And I do like coming into the game. You know, I don't, you know, you guys can call me crazy, but I really don't mind farming. And I just like progressing through the game. And Town Hall 10 is obviously going to keep me very busy. I'm going to be farming this account like crazy. And, you know, just to me... Once I completely became max Town Hall Nine, I find my I found myself not in game as much, and you know logging on just to do two war attacks and basically you know logging out, it just wasn't doing it for me. I I like upgrading, you know, and I I like farming and um, you know doing things like that. But we will be back again. You know, we got about twenty three minutes left on the Town Hall, and I'm basically gonna be starting a new series basically a let's play town hall 10 so everyone can kind of more or less go on the journey with me through this transition to town hall 10 so we will go ahead and check back when the town hall is almost done all right so we have just under a minute left before the town hall <laughs> completes oh man i have no idea what i'm doing but that's okay because we are going to do this together so we got about 30 seconds left. Uh, like I said in the first part of this video, I mean, loot-wise, I am I'm as stacked as someone can possibly possibly be. Uh, and I also bought, you know, quite a few gems so we can get, you know, get some stuff done. Again, this will be the journey through Town Hall 10. So I'll definitely be needing your guys' help for this one. And we got about eight seconds left. Six five four three two one bam and there it is and, oh and i got a level up so there's no turning back now Riggs is now town hall well i guess you could call it 9.5 um so yeah we should pretty much get to work here oh and i forgot we do have that package but with that package comes with a level two inferno tower which is something i definitely definitely do not want to do right away so for resource okay we do get elixir collector gold mine definitely definitely gonna have to drop that de drill um let's see in defense we get a cannon archer tower some more walls to farm up oh it's, it's just 25 walls ah that's not too bad we can get that done pretty quick another air bomb Giant bomb, Sam, bomb tower. I'll probably hold off on that for a while. Uh, Expo, Inferno Tower, all that stuff. The traps will definitely be dropping right away. So, the very first thing that I'm probably going to drop is the Archer Queen. Might as well. We have the Dark. There she goes. She's going to level 31. Now she can one shot build her huts. Uh, let's see. We're also going to. Definitely, definitely going to get the clan castle rocking. So I definitely want to get that going. And can't forget about, let me see, can't forget about the lab. So go ahead and drop that. Look, all that loot is already gone. But again, the good news is I have a full treasury. 
and these mines and pumps are still full. So, uh, let me see, let me see. The next thing is, okay, no, that is already maxed out. Ah, there it is, the spell factories. So we'll definitely go ahead and drop that. So now we can grab the clone spell and bring, obviously, two more additional spells to the battlefield. So now we'll go ahead and empty these, and I should be able to get quite a bit here. Like I said, these were max. Even my freaking, even my freaking loot cart. Look at how much I have in my loot cart. I did get hit. They got about a, they got about a million of each when when I got hit. So we do have a little more loot here. Now we can go ahead. Might as well empty the treasury. So go ahead and empty that bad boy. And one thing I did do, I did take the liberty to make this base. I know it looks kind of stupid, but what? Basically, the reason why I made it is just it, it's it's obviously all you know going to be mental just especially with you know farming the walls and i just kind of segregated everything you know just prepping for all this so all the crap over here is pretty much um well not pretty much it is maxed out i can't do anything obviously i'm not gonna be upgrading the town hall and in the center here these were the four things that i dropped first and i do have one free builder so we can go ahead and get the traps down um, yeah, so you see I have, you know, all my resources over here, uh, just have my barracks over here, all my defenses, you know, which I won't be touching those. Well, I mean, I, I'm definitely going to drop the Teslas first, uh, once the Teslas are done, definitely going to start on the air defenses, and I got a little spot here for, um, the new Archer Tower and the new Cannon, and then here's obviously all the traps. So, and then this wall, I mean, especially with the wall grind, I definitely want to, you know, max out my walls as soon as possible. And it, it, again, I did the same thing for Town Hall 9 when I was getting the level 10 walls. And it's just, it just helps break it down. You know, just upgrading them here in sections of four, as opposed to seeing it all, you know, on the base. Um, again, just making it a little easier on your mind just upgrading it like this so this is the base i'll probably be looking at again it just helps me see everything a little bit better uh, of course the camps i mean i have to upgrade everything but priority is obviously going to be focusing on the archer queen getting her to level 40 as soon as possible the getting the teslas up getting the air defenses up dropping the traps which is actually what we can do let me see here yeah, let me see. So I'll go ahead. What I'll do real quick is I can set this to active. So now, oh, damn. I have to drop my my new walls. Forgot about that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and drop down the traps. Let's see. So we'll go ahead. We'll drop the air. We got a little air bomb section over here. So go ahead and drop down the air bomb. And I have to upgrade that to what my current ones are. Kind of put him off to the side there let me see obviously the giant bomb so now do i have to bring that one to the current level but these bombs can also be upgraded and let me see that's what's nice about the traps you don't have to worry about you know a builder taking forever to build them so go ahead and drop that bad boy is that it for is that it for traps oh and then the scale yeah we'll go ahead and drop the the skelly trap. So there we go. I'm going to kind of put these off to the side here because I know that I'm going to want a builder working on those. So it's obviously my active village, you know, as of right now. But I'm definitely going to, you know, change it. This is just, you know, basically just to walk you guys through the upgrades and just making it a little bit easier on me. Oh, I forgot these. Oh, no, I already did empty those. Damn. So I still have quite a bit. I mean, I do have quite a bit of loot. Uh, once the lab's done, I have to farm, I believe it's 70k DE. I'm definitely going to do my hounds first. So this is just going to be, again, the Let's Play Town Hall 10 series is just going to be something that I'll be doing, you know, I, I don't know, maybe once a week, uh, you know, once every five days, just depending. So I'll just kind of recap what I've, you know, what I've completed in those last five days and what I'll be looking to complete going forward. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Again, this is going to be Let's Play Town Hall 10 series with rigs. Um, 
So leave any comments or suggestions that you guys have down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I mean, wish me the best of luck. I'm going to be grinding this account as fast as I can. Um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely going to be farming all the resources. But, uh, uh, you know, just to speed things up, I will be gemming things like hero time. You know, you know, maybe certain war troops, things like that. But anyway, wish me the best of luck. This is Riggs from Clashing FFS. Riggs is now Town Hall 10, bitches. I hope you guys liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.